Hi, it's Emanago and I look kind of funky because I'm doing two uh, eye makeup tutorials in this video. This is the look that's good for um, hooded eyes or for monolids and this one over here is good for almost every other eye, eye shape. So I did say that this look is good for one thing and this is good for another thing but Truthfully, you can just do whatever you want. You don't have to add hooded lids or monolids to do this eye. And if you want to do this eye and you have hooded lids or monolids, you can just fake a crease. Just take your memory, look down into it, and then go right between your brow bone and your eyeball and just fake that crease. Then you can do this eye as well. So yeah, don't feel restricted. These looks are super simple. I try to keep them as simple as possible. And I'm just using my BH88 um, uh, matte eyeshadow palette and it looks like this, has all these colors. You want four colors, you want one color, one eyeshadow that's um, lighter than your skin tone. For me, I use this white up here. Then you want one that matches your skin tone. I use this one down here. Then you want a brown. I use this one over here and depending on how dark your skin is, you want the brown to be darker and then a black. So these two eyes are both done with the four same eyeshadows just placed differently. And I'm using matte eyeshadows. I would really recommend using matte eyeshadows over um, shimmery. You can always add shimmer but you can never take away that shimmer. So if you want to buy a palette like this then go for a matte palette. And I'm using five eyeshadow brushes in this look. I'm using a C-shaped brush um, to apply the lightest eyeshadow with and I like this C-shaped brush because it, um, as you can see it's kind of a little bit fluffy but it's still kind of flat so it's like a middle thing between a flat brush and a uh, blending brush I'm using ELF's um, Studio Eyeshadow C brush then for the skin tone color I'm using a flat brush and mine is from Eco Tools and flat brushes pack on eyeshadows really nicely but it doesn't blend eyeshadows that well but then for my brown eyeshadow I used ELF's Essential Blending Eye Brush a blending brush is of course great to blend eyeshadows with and then for the black eyeshadow I used a really small eyeshadow brush and um, just a little stiff kind of pencil brush ELF Studio Precision Brush you don't want to apply the black eyeshadow sloppy. You want to be precise while you apply your black eyeshadow. So it's great to have a precision brush to do that. And then lastly, I'm using just a small angle brush. Just to apply my um, my primer underneath my eyes. And then another little tip that I just want to mention is that um, practice makes perfect. And that is really true. Okay, so um, I'm gonna start out with the look for um, the look where you work with the crease. As you can see, that's the eye shape I have. I have a visible crease right here. So don't mind this little bruise. I just I got that last night. I was just tweezing my eyebrows and instead of tweezing the hair, I was tweezing my skin. And it was really painful. <laughs> and then my eyes are also really... Um, uh, watery and it's just because of my allergies I don't know why but they have been so bad today and I am first going to prime my eye with a MAC paint you can get a million different eye primers MAC has the paints and the paint pots and Urban Decay has its primer potion and Too Faced has its um, shadow insurance and ELF also has a primer and I really like Elfa's primer. It's only one dollar, but it works really well. Yeah, my paint is in Untitled. And I just like to use my finger. And I really like the MAC primer. I wore this on the eyeshadow when I was in Norway. And I wore the eyeshadow look for over 24 hours. And I had no creasing whatsoever, so I really recommend it. And 
now on to the eyeshadows we're gonna work from light to dark so we're gonna start with a highlight color and the uh, um, c-shaped brush and we're gonna apply this here in the inner corner and it always just gives a nice effect to have a brighter lighter um, inner corner it just brightens your eyes and just beautifies your eyes all in all then we're going to take a flat brush and a skin toned eyeshadow and we're going to apply this on the outer part of the lid then we're going to take a brown eyeshadow with our blending brush so you want to kind of tilt your head back and then apply the color right in between your brow bone and your eyeball you can feel your brush just sink in and just let your brush run right there and also take the eyeshadow and bring it down to your last line and you just want to keep on blending blending is really important and then with your smallest eye brush just pick up some of the black color and take the black eyeshadow and apply it in the outer way just like you did um, with the brown eyeshadow and then take your blending brush and blend out the black and you can use um, the other brushes with the lighter eyeshadows um, just to blend um, if you feel like it okay and for the lower last line we're just going to apply the primer as well and I'm not going to use my uh, finger um, to apply the primer on the lower last line this time I'm going to use a little small angle brush like this because if I use my finger I'm just going to smear it all over and ruin my under eye concealer and we're going to apply the same colors underneath so I'm going to start off with the white here in the inner corner then I'm going to use the skin tone eyeshadow and then here connecting the upper um, the upper lid with the lower lid I'm going to use the brown And then lastly, I'm just going to use a little bit of the black. And that is all for the eyeshadow. So now I'm going to curl my eyelashes with True and Morris eyelash color. It's really important to use an eyelash color, I think. Because if you're doing like a pretty eyeshadow look and it looks really nice and then you go on to your lashes and then they're just looking like completely straight and just the point in a million different directions then it can kind of ruin the look so make sure you curl your eyelashes and then apply mascara I'm using L'Oreal's False Dust Springs mascara in waterproof and my favorite way to apply mascara is look down into a mirror and then apply the mascara um, and that way you're less likely to poke yourself in the eye you're less likely to smear your mascara on your eyelid and you can get to the root of the lashes better okay so that is the final look for the um, first eye look okay so for the other eye I have already primed it with my MAC paint so again I'm gonna start off with the lightest color and I'm going to apply this on my brow bone
then I'm taking the eyeshadow that matches my skin tone and I'm applying this underneath the brow bone color almost all the way down to the lashes then I take the brown eyeshadow and I apply this roughly just along my um, last line all the way from the inner corner and out then I take the last eyeshadow, the black eyeshadow and the smallest eyeshadow brush and I apply this um, really close to the lashes Okay, and I have applied my primer. On my lower lash line, I'm gonna use the brown. And then really close to the eyelashes, I'm gonna use the black. Again, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then just apply two coats to your upper lashes and one coat to your lower lashes. And this is the final look for um, hooded eyes or monoliths. So here's the first look. And here is the second. I look kind of crazy <laughs> but yeah that's all so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you like this video and thank you to those who do bye